There is a street in Malmo, which is my hometown in Sweden, called Nobelvägen, the Noble Road. And why does that have a significance for me? It's because in 1992, I was walking along the sidewalk, uh, walking from one point uh, to another from the beginning of the street, which is by uh, the Molavang Square all the way up to uh, uh, the theater which uh, is in the beginning of the street and then suddenly from a distance I heard this rumbling majestic powerful sound just approaching at first I thought you know what could it be it, it, I wasn't familiar with this with the sound at a glance immediately I turned and what do I see to my surprise a brand new incredible red on light gray Dodge Viper it was as if Christmas had come early and it was incredible I'd never seen one before I'd only seen it in the magazines and it was love at first sight and that love never left me that the first generation of Dodge Vipers are incredible and and they have this uh, 90s magazine type of a feeling for me and and it stuck with me ever since then uh, it was funny enough the guy came and parked just a few blocks away so I kind of caught up to him got with the car stood with it looked at it for a few minutes admired it it was unbelievable how beautiful it was it was a very different most different car that I've ever seen out of all the other uh, cars, especially since it was a uh, an American car. And American cars in Sweden are very rare. Uh, 92 and 2017 are significant years. The 92 was the launch year of the Dodge Viper, and 17, 2017 was the final sad year of production of these beautiful cars. 
and five generations made it into these years from 92 to 17, um, which makes it about 25 years of production. Over the years, the look has more or less stayed the same, although it has different, differed a bit. The tail, to be honest, has more or less stayed the same. It's more the front that has changed a bit. And of course, uh, the, the interior, the technology, and, and uh, what have you has improved over the years. Today, I'm sitting in inside a uh, Generation 5 2013 Dodge Viper SRT GTS and it's red on um, mocha brown beautiful co color combination with 8,200 ish miles on it uh, well kept well sorted and of course well maintained uh, my current client Mr. Becker uh, purchased this car two years ago and there's one thing I'm going to give a huge amount of credit to him for while many buy these cars and maybe put a few hundred miles or you know thousand miles maximum over the course of two years Mr. Becker has put 6,000 miles in two years kudos to you he's really been driving this car and uh, it's not an easy car to drive either it's not the greatest com most comfortable car on the planet it's an extreme sport car it drives like a bat out of t hell it's very 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 fast and by by god i mean it's when you push the throttle in the second third and fourth gear it just your head swooshes back and this thing just flies through and rumbles underneath it's something to behold i never thought it would be this fast it's kind of scary fast how amazing and of course uh it's a raw sports car so while you have all the comfortable amenities inside the car air conditioning power steering um bluetooth music uh digital displays it's still at the core a raw sports car it is very low suspension is stiff and you feel every bump on the road every bump you feel it it's something it's a surreal feeling of super speed comfort amenities but rough roughish ride so i call it a comfort discomfort type of a car but with of course 640 or so horsepower and 8.4 liter v10 you can't go wrong it's a monster of a fast car if you've never driven a viper and this is your first one i super super highly recommend you get one and just get it out of your system because it's it's something else it's completely different it's very different it's very raw very um rough and powerful and something out of this world and of course six speed manual uh makes it even uh, more fun and attractive not so much in los angeles traffic and then the busy streets but once you get this out uh on the road freeways and highways it it actually uh in country roads it is incredible it sits like a glue on the road and the smallest little move on the power steering it's super precise just moves from one uh, uh, lane to the other within inches and, and within a fraction of seconds. The looks are unmistakable. Anywhere I go, people love it. They take photos of the car. They ask me if they could uh, see it from up close. They ask about it to see what it is. And it's something to behold, especially because of this version, which is the GTS. And uh, those who know, know what it is. And it's, uh, it's a monster of a car. Um, Folks, it's a 2013, super low miles, uh, yet it was driven by 6,000 miles uh, in the past two years. Uh, Mr. Pickett took amazing care of it. The, 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 the tires are only two years and one year old uh, combined. Um, we recently had a oil change, which was uh, about a month ago two months ago or so and the next one 
is supposed to happen at 13,888 miles. The sticker is here. It was done at Auto Guys, uh, which is a uh, highly reputable uh, place. My uh, client took it to. Um, oh, another thing we did was I decided to take this car out for a first time night drive out of all the films that we have done this would be probably the first or the second actually film of, of all the films that we've done where we did nighttime why because it's just such a beautiful viperish snakish looking uh, car so i felt that it would be more appropriate to film it at night and with all these lights inside outside and all that so that you could get that feeling of a uh, mystery that the car comes with we are looking forward to sending this to a new home it will be on auction on bring a trailer for a week bit with confidence you will be getting an incredible car my name is Alec Cartio I'm in a 2013 Dodge Viper SRT GTS